Hey everyone. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. Today I am coming to you to discuss this lie that exists in the believer's life that somehow our prayers, when we go into our prayer time, that somehow our prayers are lacking something. I believe that a lot of believers experience this lack of confidence in prayer because they are dependent upon their own ability. Uh, they're dependent upon their own power. They're dependent upon their own understanding in order to think that that makes prayer efficient or that makes prayer effective. So I really feel like today that the Lord just kind of wants me to come in and dismantle this lie that exists in the life of the believer. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to share a couple quick things with you and then I'm going to go right into prayer and I'm going to tear this thing down. This is one thing that the Lord has just kind of anointed me to do to destruct and dismantle things in the spirit. This is my ministry. I have a ministry of of deconstruction, of tearing down lies that exist in the life of the believer. So that's what we're going to do today. This thing has been stirring in my spirit um, really all day. I was on a prayer call earlier and this lie came up in the spirit and I was like, okay, God, yes, we need to deal with this. The people need to know. We need to target this thing and tear this thing down in the life of the believer. So that's what we're going to do. Let's talk about this lie that exists, okay? In our minds, this lie that exists that something is missing in prayer, that we don't have the right words when we pray. Even after we pray sometimes, we may feel like, you know, God, something was missing from that. I'm not really sure if you heard me. Maybe I didn't say the right thing. Maybe I wasn't good enough this week. You know, maybe I'm not where I'm supposed to be in my life. Maybe I still got some area of sin that I'm struggling with God. And these things are really hindrances to our prayer life. So this is what I'm going to discuss and discuss mantle today. So God wants us to show up in prayer, okay? And he wants us to know that he is the all-sufficient one, okay? He is sufficient. He is the one that supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory. He is sufficient. We are not sufficient. He is perfect. We are not perfect, okay? God's not lacking any ability or power or understanding even though we might be lacking those things or we may still be growing in those things. So I really just want to dismantle this thing that exists that we have to be perfect in prayer, that if our words aren't precise, that if I didn't pray the right words, that maybe my prayer won't go through, that maybe if I didn't say the right thing, God, that you're not going to hear me and grant the request and the cry of my heart, especially when I'm interceding for other people. Especially when you place people in my, in my life or you surrounded me with people that I know I'm supposed to be praying for. I thank you that I know that our prayers are powerful and the enemy really kind of wants to make us, um, impotent in this area of prayer so that our prayers don't go forth with the power and understanding that they should go forth. And if, if he can get us to doubt, that God hears our prayers or that we said the right thing, then that automatically changes our position in prayer. It changes our authority in prayer. It hinders our authority in prayer, okay? Because we're not supposed to doubt. Scripture says if you doubt, don't think that any that you should receive anything from God. The one that doubts is, is like one that's tossed back and forth with the wind and that he shouldn't think that he should receive anything from God because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So scripture already tells us that we can't doubt and be double-minded. And I'm here today to tell you that we can't be double-minded about prayer. We can't be double-minded that when we come before God and we start talking to him about the things that are heavy on our heart, that maybe he's not listening to us or maybe he's listening or that maybe he's like this genie waiting for us to say the right words. And because we didn't say the right words, our prayers aren't granted. Our prayers aren't going through because I missed the right word. I didn't say the right thing. I didn't have enough agreement. I didn't do something. I want to tear this thing down that as if we have the power to do anything, okay? The only power we have is the power that God grants us, okay? And the power that God 
anoints us with. That is the only power that we have. So we can be confident in that power, but just know that that power came from God. It wasn't because of us. It wasn't because of how good I am or how well I prayed or how I um, got rid of all the sin in my life or how I cleaned myself up or how I'm trying so hard or how I'm praying night and day or how I'm sacrificing or how I'm doing all these works. I'm here to tell you that that's not what it's about, that we need to base the power of our prayer and God's sufficiency. He is God almighty. And that word means that he is the all sufficient one. That means he's not relying on us for anything. He's not relying on my power or my right words to get anything done. And that's the truth that you need to hear today. So share this video with somebody. Somebody needs to know that they're not, their prayers are not going to be hindered because of what they lack. Someone put that in the, in the comments. My prayers aren't going to be hindered because of what I lack, because I serve God who is all sufficient, all knowing, all powerful, the God that was and is and is to come, the God that has already written all my days that of my life before I lived any of them. He's not surprised by anything that happens to me today. He's not surprised about my mindset. He's not surprised about my insecurities. He's not surprised against uh, against those things that are baffling to me, the things that I don't understand, the things that I struggle with. He's not moved by any of those things, and we shouldn't be moved by them either. So I'm here today on this video to dismantle this lie and the spirit that your prayers are lacking something. I'm telling you, I'm here to do that today. If that's you, you need to come into agreement with this prayer that I'm going to pray because I'm here to dismantle this thing in your life once and for all and that your prayers aren't going to be hindered anymore by your mindset or by your feelings or emotion that lives in your soulish realm. Your soul should be serving the spirit. Your soul isn't um, calling any shots. Your soul isn't deciding. Your emotions and your mind and your will aren't deciding today if your prayer is effective because God has already said our prayers are effective. The prayers of a righteous man availeth much. And if I'm in right standing with Jesus Christ, I'm in right standing with God. If Jesus is the Lord of my life, and when I cried out to him and said, come into my heart, that put me in right standing with God, okay? So I don't have to perform. I want to tear down this thing that we have to perform in prayer because we don't have to perform, but we do have to show up. We have to show up in prayer and we have to remove ourselves from the equation. And this is one thing that the Lord's been speaking to me about is removing yourself from the equation, Regina. That means when you're sitting in prayer and you're trying to figure out what this thing is, you're trying to do the work in the spirit. You're trying to do the very thing I called you to do. I need you to remove yourself from the equation because you don't belong there. You don't have any power. Okay. You only have what I gave you, but just know your power is not sufficient because you're, you you know, you're still in your flesh. So don't think that you're going to really get anything done here without me. It's impossible for us to do anything without God. He said in his scripture, apart from me, you can do nothing. And when he said that, he meant that apart from me, you can do nothing. That means we can do nothing of eternal value. We can do nothing of kingdom value without the spirit of God. Okay. I can do a lot of things in the flesh. I can build a lot of things. Things and people may clap and they may think it looks good, but if it wasn't birthed out of the kingdom, it will mean nothing when I stand before the Lord Almighty. So, okay, we're not going there, Lord. I'm going to stay on track on what we're doing, okay? We're going to tear down this thought, okay, that God is this genie. We're going to tear it down that if I didn't say the right word, he doesn't hear my prayers or that something is missing from my prayer life. Nothing is missing from our prayer life. If we show up in prayer and we rely on God and we rely on the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit that makes intercession for us, Jesus makes intercession for us and the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us as well. And we see that in Romans 8, 26. I'm going to read that to you. It's out of the NIV translation because I think it's really easy for people to understand. It says, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us 
through uh, wordless groans. So, so as we're praying, the Holy Spirit is really making sure our words are right. He's taking what we're saying and translating it to God. And he, and he may be saying, okay, Regina, you may be praying for this area, but I'm perfecting this prayer before God so that it's effective and that, uh, that it, it, it is, it's aligned with his will. And, and anything aligned with his will, we know is going to get done. Okay, because scripture tells us this, tells us that anything aligned with his word, that we have this confidence that if we ask anything according to his word, that it's going to be done for us because we're not praying selfish prayers. When we come to intercede for people, we're really wanting to pray the heart of God. We really want to see God move in their life. We really want to see people break free and know this awesome God that we serve. So just know that truth today. Okay, and then when we pray, we need to make sure that we're exuding faith because Hebrews eleven six says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is, that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So because we are diligently seeking the Lord, we are before his throne every day. And this is why I talk about being in prayer every day, how important it is to make sure that we are before the presence of God and pouring out and dealing with our emotions and our fears and our uh, the things that kind of will... Uh, kind of like um, accumulate in the spirit and cause us to have difficult a difficult time in prayer if we wait like a week to pray or a couple of days to pray. We can't do that. Things will acc- accumulate very quickly, okay? This soul that we have, this thing needs to be uh, brought under subjection every day. Our will, our mind, and our emotions need to be brought under the spirit, walking in the spirit every day. It's a daily thing because if not, our mind is going to run rampant. Our emotions are going to run rampant. Our will, our desire to do things, our desire to step out and make something happen on our own is going to do something. And we know that only causes more problems. God doesn't need us to do anything other than to show up in prayer and to remove ourselves from the equations and be confident in prayer that he is hearing us when we pray that even when I don't know what to pray, that prayer is sufficient Okay, even when I don't know what to target, the Holy Spirit says, okay, I know what to target. I know what's going on in that person's life. I know what's going on. I know what's going on in the mind of God. I know what Jesus the Son is saying. I know what God the Father has said about this person's life. I already know everything. So I don't have to be perfect in prayer. So that's what I'm here to share with you today. And I pray that somebody is hearing what I'm saying. I pray that this lie that you believe that your prayers are being hindered because you didn't say the right words or you didn't spend enough time in prayer is being dismantled from your life this day in the name of Jesus. In fact, we're going to go right into prayer. I want to tear this thing down. I want to exalt God and tell him how worthy he is. Lord, I thank you right now for even just bringing this to our attention today, Father. I thank you that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And right now we have the need of having this lie dismantled in the spirit. Father, I thank you that you have exposed this lie in our life, Lord God. And now we are dismantling it, Lord God. We're removing the power from this lie, this lie, Father God. And we decree, Father, when we come into prayer, that we come boldly before the throne of grace. Okay, we come boldly before your throne, Father. Come, We come, we come boldly because of who you are, not because of who we are or what we lack because you don't lack anything. You're all powerful. You're God almighty. You're all sufficient by yourself. You don't need us to do anything other than to show up. Father, I pray that we show up in prayer. I pray that Lord, this video gives people the confidence to show up in prayer, that the next time that thought pops up, that maybe I didn't say the right word, that they bring that thought captive. They make it obedient unto this truth, oh God. Your word says that we're supposed to be uh, pulling down those thoughts that exalt itself over the knowledge of Jesus Christ in our life. And we know that we have this confidence that when we pray that you hear us. And if you hear us, God, that you 
you are uh, granting our request because we're praying things according to your will. And even when I don't have the right words to pray, the Holy Spirit is making intercession for that person. The Holy Spirit is interceding through me. I'm just a vessel showing up. I'm just a vessel allowing the Spirit of God to do what he needs to do in the earth realm. What needs to get done isn't dependent upon me. All I have to do is show up. I don't have to do the work. I don't have to possess the power. I don't have to have the knowledge. All I have to do is open up my mouth wide and pray. So I thank you so much for that, Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask now that you empower your people to pray at another level. I pray that the ones that even just want to turn off this video would be convicted and that they would have the power to pray at another level, that they would have the power to break the chains in their life and have the power to break the chains in their loved one's life, Father God. I thank you for the people that you have surrounded them with, Lord God. I thank you that your word is going forth and it's healing people and delivering people today. And I thank you for this mindset being shattered in our lives, Lord God. We give you all the glory and all the honor, Lord. We bless you and we exalt you. And we thank you, Lord God, for exposing this lie in our life, Lord. And we thank you for performing the work that needs to be done and giving us the confidence to pray according to your will, giving us the confidence to be confident in prayer, knowing that you hear us and knowing that whatever needs to get done and whatever you want to do, Lord, is not dependent upon my power or ability or the words that I say, but it is dependent upon you because you are the all sufficient one. You are almighty God. And in the Hebrew, that word means the all sufficient one. You are El Shaddai, the all sufficient one. You are sufficient in yourself, Lord God. You're not dependent upon us. Everything you need is already uh, there in you, God. And I thank you that our job is just to access it and release it as you would give us uh, wisdom and knowledge to do so. So I thank you for your people even growing in wisdom and knowledge today. Let the spirit of wisdom and knowledge be upon everyone who watches this video. Father, every person that lifts up their hand before you right now, Father God. I pray that you would endue them with power, the type of power, the dunamis power that would allow them to be empowered in the things that you're calling them to do. I thank you for your people being your hands and your feet in the earth realm today. And I thank you that everything they do glorifies you, Lord. So we bless you tonight and we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray that this video has blessed you. I pray that it has stirred some things up in your spirit. I pray that it has identified the lies that you possess in prayer, about prayer, about your ability to pray, about how God hears you, about the things that you say, even about the way you pray, okay? God created you so intentionally that the way you talk, the way you uh, the way you speak, no matter what your flow is, is when you speak, it is so intentional and it is beautiful to God. Okay. You may pray differently than the person next to you. And that's intentional because God wants to hear your voice just the way he made your voice. So make sure that you lift up your voice before him. Make sure that you don't hold back your voice from the one who's able to save you. So the one that's able to save your family members and your coworkers, the one who's able to give you everything you need and supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Don't hold back your voice from him. Even if you don't know what to say, lift up your voice and open up your mouth and ask the Holy Spirit to fill your mouth, to fill your mouth with wisdom, to fill your mouth with the intentions of God and be confident in what you release. And sometimes we just need to practice it enough, okay? And get comfortable overcoming being uncomfortable in prayer, okay? Because oftentimes when I show up to prayer, I can tell you, I don't have a clue where we're going. <laughs> I don't have a clue what's on God's mind. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I keep showing up. I keep showing up and lending myself into agreement. God, what is on your mind? I'm here to intercede today. I'm here as your vessel to intercede today. I'm here to lift up my voice. I'm here to come in agreement with what you want to do today in the earth realm. What you want to do in my family's life. What you want to do in my business. What you want to do in the United States of America. 
America. I'm here to hearken my ear to you and simply speak back the things I hear you say and the things that I perceive. So Lord, we just thank you so much. Again, I'm so grateful and thankful that God is helping us become a people that are um, intimate with him and we're only intimate with him in prayer. Okay, those times where it's just you and him all by yourself. Be confident in that place. Be confident that when you open up your mouth, the Lord hears you and the Holy Spirit knows how to make sure what you're praying is correct. Even you may not be aware of it, but it doesn't matter again, because my brothers and sisters, it's not you that did it. It was the spirit of God It was that it was done by. It wasn't you. It was the spirit of God moving through you that lives on the inside of you that things are done by. It's not by your own power. It's not by your own perfect state. It's not by what you're lacking. So I pray today you really have confidence to move in prayer in this area that God wants you to move in. And um, hopefully in the future, I'm certainly going to be doing some things regarding prayer because the Lord has really shown me a lot of things about intimacy, a lot of obstacle blockers that we have in prayer. And I'm going to be doing some courses um, coming up on that. I, that wasn't something I was going to share at the moment, but that's on my heart to do. So be looking out for that. And when you see those courses, sign up for it because we're going to go in and dismantle this stuff in the spirit. Okay. We're going to rip down these lies, these hidden lies and these mindsets that are preventing you from being the person that God has called you to be. So Amen. Amen. You guys have a great evening. Have a great rest of the, the week. Bless you guys. And let me know if this video has blessed you. Share it with a friend. Share it with somebody, even if you think they're confident in prayer. Sometimes the most confident looking people in prayer are not confident at all. They're just really good actors, okay? They're really good at portraying that they don't have any issues or any problems or any obstacles. And the truth is, we all have obstacles. I'm Regina. I have obstacles. You have obstacles too. But together, when we come together, the Lord exposes them and causes us to come and break those obstacles down down so that we're all better spiritually, that we're, that we're all more equipped. God wants us to be those fine-tuned instruments in his, in his presence, okay? And in order to do that, we have to let him inspect us, okay? And we have to be real about the areas that we are lacking in because we are lacking in some areas because we're not so all sufficient. But our God who we serve, who we get up and serve night and day is all sufficient. And he's completing and perfecting the things that concern us as is stated in Psalms 138, that God perfects that which concerns us. So bless you guys. I'm really trying to get off here. Let me hear your thoughts and love to hear your comments. Talk to you soon.